For today's recipe, we'll be preparing bison meatloaf. Salt and pepper will not be needed for this recipe, as the steak spice already includes most of the spices you'll be needing. So, we have the bison meat, fresh parsley, some fresh sage, two whole eggs, and some bread. What I've done with the bread over here is that I've moistened it with some olive oil and some fresh parsley. Now the bison being a very lean meat, we want to add this bread to give the meat some moisture. And don't be afraid, dig right in and get a nice homogeneous texture. Start from the back and go towards the center. So if you look at your finished preparation, you see all of the ingredients are mixed in. You now have your pan, and this is just a personal touch where I like to add sliced bacon. So what I've done is that I've put half the bacon and let it overlap on the outside, so that when I put my meat in, I can recover it with the bacon. And you just want to put your bison in. You really want to tap it in, get all the air out, and that will allow that when it cools down and you cut it, it won't break apart. And then you want to take your overlapped bacon and just recover your meat. This won't only be nice to hydrate the meat, but it'll give it a beautiful presentation as well. Our next step in our bison meatloaf is to prepare a bain-marie. The purpose of a bain-marie is basically to keep the moisture within the meal you're making. So a bain-marie is very easy. A cooking dish that goes in the oven. Some water. Put your whole pan of meatloaf in. And cover with aluminum foil. And this needs to go into your oven at 350 degrees for 75 minutes. What I've done is after 50 minutes, I've taken the meatloaf out of the bain-marie, taken the foil off, and let it roast to give me a beautiful color. All these juices that you see in the pan are what we're going to use to make our gravy. Use gloves, it is pretty hot. And just pour all the liquid. All this that you see inside is basically the fat of the bacon, which will give it great flavor. Now you remember we lined the meatloaf with bacon. When you unmold it, you'll see how beautiful it is as a presentation. You can choose just before service to put your whole plate back in the oven at 550 degrees just to broil your bacon and give it a little crispiness that you're looking for.